It's me, so y'all. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be making a holiday or a good Sunday sweet honey ham. Come on in here and look at what I've already done. I want to show you just a little preview. These are my hams. One, one is a spiral slice, and the other is just a regular ham, which is much cheaper in price. But look how beautiful they are. Look at that glaze, baby. Yeah, you can get that on your ham. Lovely, isn't it? These are two different hams that I'm making for two different people, but they both taste the same. I want to introduce you to my girl, Dixie. Okay, so Dixie cost a total of $8.79. That was $1.09 a pound, and Dixie weighs a little bit over 8 pounds, 8.06 to be exact. Look here. She's an Appleton's Farms ham. She comes from Aldi. And look here, she loves to show off. There she goes. She's styling and profiling. She don't mind posing. Only thing is, she doesn't have any clothes on. She's absolutely naked. Let's do something about that. So I have some brown sugar here. I have some honey. And I have some butter, baby. And butter's going to always dress you up and give you some bling. I also have some sriracha. So we're going to be using all of these things to get Dixie dressed up. So in this pot, I've already mixed together two cups of brown sugar and eight ounces of honey, baby. Got that going? I want to just show you that I keep my brown sugar in mason canning jars. That way they, it stays moist. There no clumps, no getting hard. And it'll just be lovely and beautiful when you get ready to use it. Here I have some butter, baby. What am I going to do without butter? I'm getting this butter down into my brown sugar and my honey. And I'm putting just a little bit of sriracha. This is probably less than a half a teaspoon. I'm doing this for all you little people that come on and say, Oh, miso, miso, that's too much seasoning. and that's too much spice. Oh, my goodness. Let's don't use so much. Let's don't use so much. Okay, so all you church girls that don't use so much, this is what y'all use. Just a little bit like I put here. But for you church girls going wild, hey, Try a teaspoon of each one of these ingredients that I put in. That was cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice, baby. So we're going to go ahead and this, get this ham. It's been in the oven for 30 minutes in a preheated 350-degree oven. And I want you to just take a look. Now, Dixie is still strutting around with nothing on. She thinks she looks good like this. But I'm going to go ahead and get this glaze down on Miss Dixie, baby. And we're going to get her all blinged out, get her shiny looking and delicious. You guys can use a brush for this, but I don't need a brush. I'm just going to take my spoon and spread this out. I'm fast enough that I can catch anything that's running down before it gets into the juices. If you want to pour off the juices, you can in the bottom of the pan, but it's not necessary. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all this beautiful, beautiful glaze down on Miss Dixie. She just doesn't know what she's in for, how good she's going to look. She loves being beautiful. This is going to make her even more beautiful. So come on now, Dixie. Let's get it together. I'm putting this glaze on all sides of Miss Dixie. Mm -hmm. You can see already just how pretty this looks. Uh, and this is sweet. Going to be sweet, sticky, and delicious. She's going to love it, baby. She's going to love it. Wish you could smell this. Okay, take a look. She's trying to show you. Hmm. So we're going to go back into the oven for 30 more minutes. Now, look at this. Go on and bake, bake, bake. Go on and Miss Dixie, go ahead and bake. Ah, now I've got her out. We're just going to take a close look because she wants to model for you guys again. You know, I told you she likes the styling and the profiling and she likes to show you, show all for you. So look at this. Just go ahead and give her a hand clap. Look how pretty she looks. She is shiny. She's delicious looking. Oh, my, my, my. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and we are going to baste her one more time. And we're going to put her back in the oven for another 30 minutes. This is after the second basting. Let's get her out and see what's been going on. Oh, God, look at that. Miss Dixie, I told you you're going to be gorgeous. Oh, my God, look at these hands. Ah, oh, can you see? I know you can see the sugar and the sweetness already before you even tasted the honey. You know, there's a business called Honey Baked Ham. Mm, their hams don't look like this. This is a real Honey Baked Ham. Okay, let's go ahead and plate this lady up. Miss Dixie, you ready to get onto a plate and show these guys what you're working with? Looky, looky, Miss Cookie. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. So I've gone on and put uh, Miss Dixie on a plate with some um, English peas and some rice. 
and some cranberry sauce and I have here some dressing with a beautiful golden gravy but look at Miss Dixie she the star of the show that's what she wants you to see her she's going to see me see me see me did I do good I just put a piece of the crusty uh, sugary glazed ham on the outside that small piece that's what that is because I just wanted you to see how that looks the rest of it is a moist succulent delicious pieces of ham mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to say anymore. I'm just going to allow you some time to take it all in. You can tell what this tastes like before you even taste it, right? Guys, you can do this at home. It's very easy. You saw what I did. Just follow the instructions and you'll be pulling something out of your oven. Your own little Miss Dixie. Yeah, it'll be delicious. I have recipes for this dressing on here. And... You'll love it. It goes with Miss Dixie just perfectly well. Guys, I want to thank you for being so dedicated and so loyal. Uh, you guys keep me going. You are why I do what I do, and I want to thank you. If you really want to help me out, the best, biggest thing you can do is to share my videos and to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, and I love your comments. So let me know what you're thinking. Enjoy. Bye-bye.